First, assemble the GXR base with the collated strip holders and the four rollers. If you're working by yourself, use the plastic box as well as part of the cardboard box as a stand to assemble the housing. This makes attaching the base to the upper housing much easier. Bolt the housing to the device base. For the final assembly of the feed lever, loosen the socket bolt, engage the lever, reinsert the bolt, and tighten it. Insert the angled vise with the rapid clamping device into the guide and fasten the stainless steel jaws. For your own safety, attach the eye protection visor at the end. To connect the GXR radius grinding module, first remove the grinding plate with the spark box the eye protection visor, and the grinding belt from the basic machine. Then, loosen the front and rear fastening bolts on the housing of the GXR module. Loosen the height adjustment handles on both sides of the belt grinder and fasten the GXR with four socket bolts on the left side of the belt grinder. Retighten the height adjustment handles and the four socket bolts of the GXR module. Insert the contact rollers you want to use and slightly tighten the bolts. Mount the included grinding belt. Check that the belt runs in the middle of the contact roller before you switch on the machine. If it does not, loosen the attachment bolts as well as the two setting screws of the adjustment unit. Use a hex wrench to set the adjustment bars. Finish the process by tightening all bolts and locking the height adjustment levers. A secondary test will indicate if you have the proper adjustment. The rapid clamping device fastens the workpiece quickly and securely. The feed lever moves the workpiece against the grinding belt. Operating the lateral adjustment at the same time causes an even wear of the grinding belt. If the radius is not centered in the workpiece, as in this case, adjust the contact roller by releasing the rocker lever, adjusting the roller as needed, and retighten it. For deburring cleanly, we recommend the GRIT GXE deburring machine. 